Hello students, welcome back once again to our channel for the solution to your problems with Megha Goel. Today we will solve the back exercise of chapter 2 of NCRT class 8. In this video we will cover the back exercise of chapter 2 that is 2.6. This chapter deals with linear equation in one variable. In this exercise we will be dealing with equations which are having only one variable that is either x or y or z. Now let's begin with the first exercise. It says solve the following equation. Number 1 8x minus 3 divided by 3x is equal to 2. Here we have to find the value of x. We know that we can write 2 as 2 by 1. Now do the cross multiplication. While doing the cross multiplication we will get 8x minus 3 multiplied by 1 and 2 multiplied by 3x. Solving the equation, we will get 8x minus 3 is equal to 6x. Taking the variables at 1 and constant at 1 position, we will get 8x minus 6x is equal to 3. Therefore, x is equal to 3 by 2. Coming to the second question, it says solve the following equation. 9x divided by 7 minus 6x is equal to 15. Similarly, applying the same method, we can write 15 as 15 by 1. Now, doing the cross multiplication, 9x into 1 is 9x and 15 into 7 minus 6x, which gives you 9x is equal to 105 minus 90x. Now, moving all the variable term at one side and constant term on the other, we will get 99x is equal to 105. For solving the value of x, we will get 105 divided by 99, which gives you a resultant as 35 by 33. Coming to question number 3, solve the following equation, which is z upon z plus 15 is equal to 4 by 9. Simply doing the cross multiplication, we will get 9z is equal to 4 into z plus 15. By solving the equation, we will get 9z is equal to 4z plus 60. Moving the variable term at one side, we will get 5z is equal to 60. So, z is equal to 12. Similarly, in question number 4, we have to find the value of y by solving the following equation which is 3y plus 4 upon 2 minus 6y is equal to minus 2 by 5. By doing the cross multiplication method, we will get 5 into 3y plus 4 and minus 2 into 2 minus 6y. By solving the equation, we will get 15y plus 20 minus 4 plus 12y minus into minus gives you plus. Now, moving all the variable terms at one side and the constant term on the other side will get 3y is equal to minus 24. For the value of y, we will get minus 8. Coming to question number 5, solve the following equation to get the value of y. And the following equation is 7y plus 4 upon y plus 2 is equal to minus 4 by 3. Here minus sign is only for the 4 and not for the whole ration uh, and not for the whole fraction. So for finding the value of y, we will apply the cross multiplication method. Therefore, 3 into 7y plus 4 and minus 4 into y plus 2. Solving the equation and making all the variable term at one side and constant term on the other, we will get 25y is equal to minus 20. Therefore, y is equal to minus 20 by 25 and cutting all the number by 5 will get minus 4 by 5 as the value of y. Coming to question number 6, it says the ages of Hari and Harry are in the ratio 5 ratio 7. 4 years from now, the ratio of their ages will be 3 ratio 4. Find their present ages. Okay. The solution for this is, we know that whenever a ratio is given, suppose in this 5 ratio 7 is given, that means 5 ratio 7 would have come by cutting a number with some number, that is 
they must be a uh, they must be a multiple of something therefore we can say let the ages of harry and hurry be 5x and 7x and according to the question 4 years from now that is 5x plus 4 and 7x plus 4 the ratio would be 3 ratio 4 now this is a simple equation now apply the cross multiplication method therefore 4 into 5x plus 4 is equal to 3 into 7x plus 4 by solving the equation and moving the variable terms at one side and constant term on the other we will get 20x minus 21x is equal to 12 minus 16 we will get minus x is equal to minus 4 cancelling the minus on both side will get x is equal to 4 so 4 is that number which will when divided by 5x will give the age of hurry which is 5 into 4 is 20 years and the present age of harry is 7 into 4 gives you 28 years moving to the next question question number 7 it says the denominator of a rational number is greater than its numerator by 8 if the numerator is increased by 17 and the denominator is decreased by 1 then the number obtained is 3 by 2 find the rational number so for the solution we will let the numerator of a rational number be x and denominator is x plus 8 because here in the question it was said the denominator is increased by 8 therefore if numerator is x denominator is x plus 8 and rational number if we have to write it in a rational number form it will be numerator upon denominator which is x upon x plus 8 then again according to the question if numerator is increased by 17 that is x plus 17 and denominator is decreased by 1 that is x plus 8 minus 1 gives you what 3 by 2 now by cross multiplication we will find that 2 into x plus 17 gives you 3 into x plus 8 minus 1 by solving the equation and making all the variable term on the one side and the uh, constant term on the other we will get minus x is equal to 24 minus 37 cancelling the negative sign on both side will get x is equal to 13 now we have find x we have to find the rational number what was our rational initial rational number x plus x plus 8 x upon x plus 8 now put the value of x in this therefore 13 upon 13 plus 8 so the final rational number is 13 by 21 and with this we have covered the last exercise of chapter 2 that is 2.6 in case of any doubt please feel free to comment your doubts in the comment section below till then take care bye bye thank you